Reykjavik R -A -Y -K -E -Vik, Vik, Icelandic, Re -C -A -V -K, listen, is the capital and largest city of Iceland. It is located in southwestern Iceland, on the southern shore of Faxafloy Bay. Its latitude is 64 degrees 08 N, making it the world's northernmost capital of a sovereign state. With a population of around 128,793 and 228,231 in the capital region, it is the center of Iceland's cultural, economic and governmental activity, and is a popular tourist destination. Reykjavik is believed to be the location of the first permanent settlement in Iceland, which, according to Landnamabok, was established by Ingolfur Arnarson in AD 874. Until the 19th century, there was no urban development in the city location. The city was founded in 1785 as an official trading town and grew steadily over the following decades, as it transformed into a regional and later national center of commerce, population, and governmental activities. It is among the cleanest, greenest, and safest cities in the world. History The first permanent settlement in Iceland by Norsemen is believed to have been established at Reykjavik by Ingolfur Arnarson around AD 870, this is described in Landnamabok, or the Book of Settlement. Ingolfur is said to have decided the location of his settlement using a traditional Norse method, he cast his high seat pillars into the ocean when he saw the coastline, then settled where the pillars came to shore. This story is widely regarded as a legend, it appears likely that he settled near the hot springs to keep warm in the winter and would not have decided the location by happenstance. Furthermore, it seems unlikely that the pillars drifted to that location from where they were said to have been thrown from the boat. Nevertheless, that is what the Landnamabok says, and it says furthermore that Ingolfur's pillars are still to be found in a house in the town. Steam from hot springs in the region is said to have inspired Reykjavik's name, which loosely translates to Smoke Cove. The city is sometimes referred to as Bay of Smoke or Smoky Bay in English language travel guides. In the modern language, as in English, the word for smoke and the word for fog or steamy vapor are not commonly confused, but this is believed to have been the case in the old language. The original name was Reykjavik, with an additional R, representing the usual genitive ending of strong nouns, but this had vanished around 1800. The Reykjavik area was farmland until the 18th century. In 1752, King Frederick V of Denmark donated the estate of Reykjavik to the Inretinger Corporation. The name comes from the Danish language word Indretninger, meaning institution. The leader of this movement was Skuli Magnusson. In the 1750s, several houses were built to house the wool industry, which was Reykjavik's most important employer for a few decades and the original reason for its existence. Other industries were undertaken by the Inratinger, such as fisheries, sulfur mining, agriculture, and shipbuilding. The Danish crown abolished monopoly trading in 1786 and granted six communities around the country an exclusive trading charter. Reykjavik was one of them and the only one to hold on to the charter permanently. 1786 is thus regarded as the date of the city's founding. Trading rights were limited to subjects of the Danish crown, and Danish traders continued to dominate trade in Iceland. Over the following decades, their business in Iceland expanded. After 1880, free trade was expanded to all nationalities, and the influence of Icelandic merchants started to grow. <laughs> Rise of nationalism Icelandic nationalist sentiment gained influence in the 19th century, and the idea of Icelandic independence became widespread. Reykjavik, as Iceland's only city, was central to such ideas. Advocates of an independent Iceland realized that a strong Reykjavik was fundamental to that objective. All the important events in the history of the independence struggle were important to Reykjavik as well. In 1845 Alingi, the General Assembly formed in 930 AD, was re-established in Reykjavik, it had been suspended a few decades earlier when it was located at Ingvalir. 
At the time it functioned only as an advisory assembly, advising the king about Icelandic affairs. The location of Alingi in Reykjavik effectively established the city as the capital of Iceland. In 1874, Iceland was given a constitution, with it, Alingi gained some limited legislative powers and in essence became the institution that it is today. The next step was to move most of the executive power to Iceland. Home rule was granted in 1904 when the Office of Minister for Iceland was established in Reykjavik. The biggest step towards an independent Iceland was taken on 1 December 1918 when Iceland became a sovereign country under the Crown of Denmark, the Kingdom of Iceland. By the 1920s and 1930s most of the growing Icelandic fishing trawler fleet sailed from Reykjavik. Cod production was its main industry, but the Great Depression hit Reykjavik hard with unemployment, and labor union struggles sometimes became violent. World War II On the morning of 10 May 1940, following the German occupation of Denmark and Norway on 9 April 1940, four British warships approached Reykjavik and anchored in the harbour. In a few hours, the Allied occupation of Reykjavik was complete. There was no armed resistance, and taxi and truck drivers even assisted the invasion force, which initially had no motor vehicles. The Icelandic government had received many requests from the British government to consent to the occupation, but it always declined on the basis of the neutrality policy. For the remaining years of World War II, British and later American soldiers occupied camps in Reykjavik, and the number of foreign soldiers in Reykjavik became about the same as the local population of the city. The Royal Regiment of Canada formed part of the garrison in Iceland during the early part of the war. The economic effects of the occupation were positive for Reykjavik, the unemployment of the Depression years vanished, and construction work began. The British built Reykjavik Airport, which is still in service today, mostly for short-haul flights to domestic destinations in Greenland. The Americans, meanwhile, built Keflavik Airport, situated 50 kilometers 31 miles west of Reykjavik, which became Iceland's primary international airport. In 1944, the Republic of Iceland was founded and a president, elected by the people, replaced the king. The office of the president was placed in Reykjavik. Post-war development In the post-war years, the growth of Reykjavik accelerated. An exodus from the rural countryside began, largely because improved technology and agriculture reduced the need for manpower, and because of a population boom resulting from better living conditions in the country. A once primitive village was rapidly transformed into a modern city. Private cars became common, and modern apartment complexes rose in the expanding suburbs. In 1972, Reykjavik hosted the World Chess Championship between Bobby Fischer and Boris Spassky. The 1986 Reykjavik summit between Ronald Reagan and Mikhail Gorbachev underlined Reykjavik's international status. Deregulation in the financial sector and the computer revolution of the 1990s again transformed Reykjavik. The financial and IT sectors are now significant employers in the city. The city has fostered some world-famous talents in recent decades, such as Björk, Olafur Arnolds and Band's mum, Sigur Rós and of Monsters and Men, poet Schoen and visual artist Ragnar Kajartensen. Geography <laughs> <laughs> Reykjavik is located in the southwest of Iceland. The Reykjavik area coastline is characterized by peninsulas, coves, straits, and islands. During the Ice Age, up to 10,000 years ago, a large glacier covered parts of the city area, reaching as far out as Alftanes. Other parts of the city area were covered by sea water. In the warm periods and at the end of the Ice Age, some hills like Oskjali were islands. The former sea level is indicated by sediments with clams reaching at Oskjali, for example, as far as 43 meters, 141 feet above the current sea level. 
The hills of Oskjoli and Skolavoruholt appear to be the remains of former shield volcanoes which were active during the warm periods of the Ice Age. After the Ice Age, the land rose as the heavy load of the glaciers fell away, and began to look as it does today. The capital city area continued to be shaped by earthquakes and volcanic eruptions, like the one 4,500 years ago in the mountain range Blafjol, when the lava coming down the Ella Valley reached the sea at the Bay of Elavogar. The largest river to run through Reykjavik is the Ella River, which is non-navigable. It is one of the best salmon fishing rivers in the country. Mount Esja, at 914 meters (2,999 feet), is the highest mountain in the vicinity of Reykjavik. The city of Reykjavik is mostly located on the Seltjarnarnes Peninsula, but the suburbs reach far out to the south and east. Reykjavik is a spread-out city; most of its urban area consists of low-density suburbs, and houses are usually widely spaced. The outer residential neighborhoods are also widely spaced from each other, in between them are the main traffic arteries and a lot of empty space. The city's latitude is 64 degrees 08 N, making it the world's northernmost capital of a sovereign state Nuuk, the capital of Greenland, is slightly further north at 64 degrees 10, but Greenland is a constituent country, not an independent state. Topic. Climate Reykjavik has a sub-polar oceanic climate closely bordering on a continental subarctic climate in the 0 degrees Celsius isoderm. While not much different from a tundra climate, the city has had its present climate classification since the beginning of the 20th century. At 64 degrees north, Reykjavik is characterized by extremes of day and night length over the course of the year. From May 20 to July 24, daylight is essentially permanent as the sun never gets more than 5 degrees below the horizon. Day length drops to less than 5 hours between December 2 and January 10. The sun climbs just 3 degrees above the horizon during this time. However, day length begins increasing rapidly during January and by month's end there are 7 hours of daylight. Despite its northern latitude, temperatures very rarely drop below minus 15 degrees Celsius 5 degrees Fahrenheit in the winter. The proximity to the Arctic Circle and the strong moderation of the Atlantic Ocean in the Icelandic coast influence of North Atlantic Current, an extension of the Gulf Stream shape a relatively mild winter and cool summer. The city's coastal location does make it prone to wind, however, and gales are common in winter. Summers are cool, with temperatures fluctuating between 10 and 15 degrees Celsius 50 and 59 degrees Fahrenheit, rarely exceeding 20 degrees Celsius 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Rain in Reykjavik averages 147 days at the threshold of 1 mm per year. Droughts are uncommon, although they occur in some summers. July and August are the warmest months of the year on average and January and February the coldest. In the summer of 2007, no rain was measured for one month. Summer tends to be the sunniest season, although May receives the most sunshine of any individual month. Overall, the city receives around 1,300 annual hours of sunshine, which is comparable with other places in northern and northwestern Europe such as Ireland and Scotland, but substantially less than equally northern regions with a more continental climate, including Finland. Nonetheless, Reykjavik is one of the cloudiest and coolest capitals of any nation in the world. The highest ever recorded temperature in Reykjavik was 25.7 degrees Celsius, 78 degrees Fahrenheit, recorded on the 30th of July 2008, while the lowest ever recorded temperature was -19.7 degrees Celsius, -3 degrees Fahrenheit, recorded on the 30th of January 1971. Topic. Cityscape Topic. City administration 
The Reykjavik City Council governs the city of Reykjavik and is directly elected by those aged over 18 domiciled in the city. The council has 23 members who are elected using the open list method for four-year terms. The council selects members of boards, and each board controls a different field under the city council's authority. The most important board is the city board that wields the executive rights along with the city mayor. The city mayor is the senior public official and also the director of city operations. Other public officials control city institutions under the mayor's authority. Thus, the administration consists of two different parts. The political power of city council cascading down to other boards. Public officials under the authority of the city mayor who administer and manage implementation of policy. Topic. Political control The Independence Party was historically the city's ruling party, it had an overall majority from its establishment in 1929 until 1978, when it narrowly lost. From 1978 until 1982, there was a three-party coalition composed of the People's Alliance, the Social Democratic Party, and the Progressive Party. In 1982, the Independence Party regained an overall majority, which it held for three consecutive terms. The 1994 election was won by Reykjavikurlisten the R list, an alliance of Icelandic socialist parties, led by Ingebjörg Solren Gisladotter. This alliance won a majority in three consecutive elections, but was dissolved for the 2006 election when five different parties were on the ballot. The Independence Party won seven seats, and together with the one progressive party they were able to form a new majority in the council which took over in June 2006. In October 2007 a new majority was formed on the council, consisting of members of the Progressive Party, the Social Democratic Alliance, the Left Greens and the F-List Liberals and Independents. After controversy regarding REI, a subsidiary of OR, the city's energy company. However, three months later the F-List formed a new majority together with the Independence Party. Olafur F. Magnusson, the leader of the F-List, was elected mayor on 24 January 2008, and in March 2009 the Independence Party was due to appoint a new mayor. This changed once again on 14 August 2008 when the fourth coalition of the term was formed, by the Independence Party and the Social Democratic Alliance, with Hanna Birna Christianstadter becoming mayor. The city council election in May 2010 saw a new political party, the Best Party, win six of 15 seats, and they formed a coalition with the Social Democratic Alliance. Comedian John Narr became mayor. At the 2014 election, the Social Democratic Alliance had its best showing yet, gaining five seats in the council, while Bright Future successor to the best party received two seats and the two parties formed a coalition with the Left Green Movement and the Pirate Party, which won one seat each. The Independence Party had its worst election ever, with only four seats. Topic. Mayor. The mayor is appointed by the city council, usually one of the council members is chosen, but they may also appoint a mayor who is not a member of the council. The post was created in 1907 and advertised in 1908. Two applications were received, from Paul Einerson, sheriff and town mayor of Hopnefuhrer and from Knud Zimson, town councillor in Reykjavik. Paul was appointed on 7 May and was mayor for six years. At that time the city mayor received a salary of 4,500 Icelandic kroner per year and 1,500 Icelandic kroner for office expenses. The current mayor is Digur B. Egertsen. <laughs> Demographics Reykjavik is by far the largest and most populous settlement in Iceland. The municipality of Reykjavik had a population of 128,793 on 1 January 2019, that is 36% of the country's population. 
The capital region, which includes the capital and six municipalities around it, was home to 228,231 people, that is over 63% of the country's population. On 1 January 2018, of the city's population of 126,041, immigrants of the first and second generation numbered 20,910, 16.6%, increasing from 12,352. 10 in 2008 and 3,106 in 1998. The most common foreign citizens are Poles, Lithuanians, and Latvians. About 80% of the city's foreign residents originate in European Union and EFTA member states, and over 58% are from the new member states of the EU, mainly former Eastern Bloc countries, which joined in 2004, 2007, and 2013. Children of foreign origin form a more considerable minority in the city's schools, as many as a third in places. The city is also visited by thousands of tourists, students, and other temporary residents, at times outnumbering natives in the city center. <laughs> Districts Reykjavik is divided into ten districts Vesterbayer District 1 Mayborg District 2, City Center Halir District 3 Laugardalar District 4 Halaiti Og Buster District 5 Bryholt District 6 Arbor District 7 Grafarvogar District 8 Kjallarns District 9 in the north Grafarholt Og Ulfarsardalar District 10 In addition there are hinterland areas lightly shaded on the map which are not assigned to any district Topic. Economy Borgarten is the financial center of Reykjavik, hosting a large number of companies and three investment banks. Reykjavik has been at the center of Iceland's economic growth and subsequent economic contraction over the 2000s, a period referred to in foreign media as the Nordic Tiger years, or Iceland's boom years. The economic boom led to a sharp increase in construction, with large redevelopment projects such as Harpa Concert Hall and Conference Center and others. Many of these projects came to a screeching halt in the following economic crash of 2008. <laughs> <laughs> Infrastructure Topic. Roads Per capita car ownership in Iceland is among the highest in the world at roughly 522 vehicles per 1,000 residents, though Reykjavik is not severely affected by congestion. Several multi-lane highways mainly dual carriageways run between the most heavily populated areas and most frequently driven routes. Parking spaces are also plentiful in most areas. Public transportation consists of a bus system called Strato BS. Route 1 the Ring Road, runs through the city outskirts and connects the city to the rest of Iceland. <laughs> <laughs> Airports and seaports Reykjavik Airport, the second largest airport in the country after Keflavik International Airport, is positioned inside the city, just south of the city center. It is mainly used for domestic flights, as well as flights to Greenland and the Faroe Islands. Since 1962, there has been some controversy regarding the location of the airport, since it takes up a lot of valuable space in central Reykjavik. Reykjavik has two seaports, the Old Harbour near the city centre which is mainly used by fishermen and cruise ships, and Sundahafen in the east city which is the largest cargo port in the country. Railways <inaudible> 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 There are no public railways in Iceland, because of its sparse population, but the locomotives used to build the docks are on display. 
Proposals have been made for a high-speed rail link between the city and Keflavik. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> District heating. Volcanic activity provides Reykjavik with geothermal heating systems for both residential and industrial districts. In 2008, natural hot water was used to heat roughly 90% of all buildings in Iceland. Of total annual use of geothermal energy of 39 petajoules, space heating accounted for 48%. Most of the district heating in Iceland comes from three main geothermal power plants. Svartsengi Combined Heat and Power Plant CHP Neshevelir CHP Plant Helishay CHP Plant Topic Cultural Heritage Safnahusi the Culture House was opened in 1909 and has a number of important exhibits Originally built to house the National Library and National Archives and also previously the location of the National Museum and Natural History Museum, in 2000 it was remodeled to promote the Icelandic national heritage. Many of Iceland's national treasures are on display, such as the Poetic Edda, and the sagas in their original manuscripts. There are also changing exhibitions of various topics. Topic. Lifestyle Topic. Nightlife Reykjavik is famous for its weekend nightlife. Icelanders tend to go out late, so bars that look rather quiet can fill up suddenly. Usually after midnight on a weekend, alcohol is expensive at bars. People tend to drink at home before going out. Beer was banned in Iceland until 1 March 1989 but has since become popular among many Icelanders as their alcoholic drink of choice. There are over 100 different bars and clubs in Reykjavik, most of them are located on Lagavegur and its side streets. It is very common for an establishment that is a café before dinner to turn into a bar in the evening. Closing time is usually around 4.30 a.m. on weekends and 1 a.m. during the week at the most well-known hospitality venues. <laughs> Live music The Iceland Airwaves Music Festival is staged annually in November. This festival takes place all over the city, and the concert venue Harpa is one of the main locations. Other venues that frequently organize live music events are Kex, Hura, Gaukaran, Grunge, Metal, Punk, Menji, Center for Contemporary Music, Avant Garde Music and Experimental Music, the Icelandic Opera, and the National Theatre of Iceland for Classical Music. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> New Year's Eve. The arrival of the new year is a particular cause for celebration to the people of Reykjavik. Icelandic law states that anyone may purchase and use fireworks during a certain period around New Year's Eve. As a result, every New Year's Eve the city is lit up with fireworks displays. Topic. Street art Reykjavik has a street art scene featuring works from artists such as Seller, Sigi Odds, Eno, L, Sarah Riel, and Guideo van Helten. Topic: <laughs> Main sites. Alingashusi, the Icelandic Parliament Building. Ostorvalor, a park in central Reykjavik, surrounded by restaurants and bars. Arbyajarsafen, Reykjavik Open Air Museum, Reykjavik's Municipal Museum, CIA. 
is, Center for Icelandic Art, General Information on Icelandic Visual Art Hallgrimskirkja, the largest church in Iceland Harpa Reykjavik, Reykjavik Concert and Conference Center Hymork, the largest forest and nature reserve in the area Hafi, the house in which Gorbachev and Reagan met in 1986 for the Iceland Summit Kringlin, the second largest shopping mall in Iceland Laugardalslag, Swimming Pool Lagavegger, Main Shopping Street National and University Library of Iceland. Jorbaklan National Museum of Iceland Jomingjasafni North Holsvik, a geothermally heated beach per lawn, a glass dome resting on five water tanks Rahas Reykjavikur, City Hall Rauholer, a cluster of red volcanic craters Reykjavik 871 plus or minus two exhibition of an archaeological excavation of a Viking Age longhouse, from about AD 930 Reykjavik Art Museum, the largest visual art institution in Iceland Safnahus Culture House, National Centre for Cultural Heritage to Jornan, the Pond University of Iceland Viking Maritime Museum, a maritime museum located by the Old Harbour. Recreation Reykjavik Golf Club was established in 1934. It is the oldest and largest golf club in Iceland. It consists of two 18-hole courses, one at Grafarholt and the other at Korpa. The Grafarholt Golf Course opened in 1963, which makes it the oldest 18-hole golf course in Iceland. The Korpa Golf Course opened in 1997. <laughs> Topic. Education Topic. Secondary schools Borgarholtsskoli Borgo Fjolbrautaskolen i Bryhol T F B Fjolbrautaskolen V Armula Fa Kavenaskolen i Reykjavik Kaveno Mentaskolen Rebraut Mentaskolen i Reykjavik Mr Mentaskolen V Hamrally M H Mentaskolen v Sund MS Tainiskolen Verslunerskoli Islands Verslo Topic Universities Iceland Academy of the Arts Reykjavik University University of Iceland Topic International schools International School of Iceland International Department at Landakotskoli Topic Sports teams Topic Football Topic Other Topic Twin Towns and Sister Cities Reykjavik is twinned with in July 2013, Mayor John Nahr filed a motion before the City Council to terminate the city's relationship with Moscow, in response to a trend of anti-gay legislation in Russia. Topic. Notable people Topic. See also Althing Beer Day Iceland Kringlin Meningarnet Rail transport in Iceland Reykjavik Green Days Notes <laughs>